Hi, this is a demonstration of Mobile Proctor, uh, how it works. Uh, so the first thing that we do is we're going to hook up with the student or test taker uh, with a uh, video chat. They'll be on their phone, we'll be on our computer. We get a very nice uh, view of them. Phone cameras are high, high quality these days um, and we get good audio quality so we can talk to them. So we're going to instruct them through a process. The very first thing we're going to do is we're going to ask them to show an ID. So they're going to head show the ID. We can see them. We can see their ID. We verified who they are. Uh, the second thing we're going to do is we're going to ask them to show us the testing area. And so there's the computer. There's nothing on it. There's the desk area. You can see I've got another phone over there, but I'm going to be using that for the demonstration. Demonstration. Um, then we're going to ask them to show us the room so we can get familiar, make sure that there's no one else sitting there in the room. We want to see where all the doors are so we know what to expect because, you know, they're at home. It's possible they've got kids, they've got a husband, they've got a wife, they've got somebody else that might come in, roommates. We just want to know where those people are going to come from uh, so that if we see their attention over there, we know that there was a door over there. So that's uh, pretty important. After we go through that, we verified everything. We're going to go ahead and have them uh, take this and move it. Uh, and set it off to the side. Now we use the phone stand for this and what we're really looking for is we're looking for a very good view of the computer and the candidate. So I'm going to set it up over here so that I've got both the candidate and computer. And you'll notice now one of the issues we've got is that I've got some glare coming off the window. We noticed there was a window there earlier. So I'm going to ask the candidate to go ahead and shut that. So we're going to make a change in their environment so that we can proctor effectively. And you can see just that, that subtle change made a big difference on what I could see on the computer screen. Now, it's possible I'm not really happy with this view as a proctor. It looks good from the beginning, but I start to notice as they take the test, they're leaning back a lot, they're off camera. At this point, I can't tell what they're doing. So as a proctor, I'm gonna say, you know what? I need a, a better, wider angle of you to make sure that, that I know what you're doing. And so I'll, I'll ask them if there's another spot in the room they can put it. I happen to have this high chair back here. I'm gonna go ahead and set that up by the high chair. And you can see I got a nice angle of the area. I still have a very good view of the computer screen, high quality cameras. And now I can see the candidate. Now if they lean back a little bit, I can still see them. I'm still on camera. So I've got a much better view of the candidate, so that works well. Now, not everybody's gonna have a camera stand. And so what we recommend then is, is for them to actually prop it up to the side. And they can, look, they can use just about anything. I'm gonna go ahead for this demonstration. I'm gonna grab this candle, right? And I'm gonna use the other phone in the demonstration. So I'm gonna set this up over here so you can see, the, see what I'm doing. Right, so we're gonna take the candle, I'm gonna set it over here in that angle off to the side. I'm gonna take the phone and I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna set it on its side. So we have it set on its side right here. Go back a little bit so we'll make sure that you can see that. So we've got it set up on their side. Now the reason I put it on its side is so that it's nice and stable. A lot of people will plug it in and they'll try to set it up like this way and it will fall over. So you can put it on its side. We can deal with that angle. Some phones correct, some don't, but that's okay. We can deal with that. Um, we also ask students to make sure that they pop something in front of it so it doesn't fall over. You'll notice that the camera is over on this side, so we can put anything on this side just to make it sure it's nice and sturdy and we're not worried about it moving during the examination so that we've got a very good view. And you can see, if you can see the quality of the camera, you can see that I can still see the computer screen and see the candidate. So we've got a nice good view over here and everything is set up properly. So that's what we do with Mobile Proctor. It's really easy. This takes three or four minutes to get set up. Once a candidate's done it several times. That process goes very quickly because they know where to set it up in their room. And we can get candidates into their test in less than five minutes in almost every case. So it's a very good product. It's very solid. We don't run into any technical difficulties with, with trying to load anything on their computer. We can see what they're doing. We can proctor their tests. That's what we do. We proctor. And that's Mobile Proctor.